Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you for inviting me for, for this uh, press conference. We began with uh, osteoarthritis and we finish now with uh, uh, gout, a very common uh, and ancient disease, uh, very specially seen in the GP settings. It's perhaps why I, I'm here. We made uh, here, in, uh, I present you the results of a survey we conducted uh, in amongst pa gout patients, is now the patient's voice, uh, to we consider that there is a gap between the subjective uh, satisfaction of gout patient versus the suboptimal uh, manage management uh, we uh, see on, uh, on our practice. My disclosures. Gout, as I mentioned, is very often very common disease, a very, the most common arthritis we see in our considerations. Treatment is very cheap, avail available, it's effective. And the management of gout is very easy to put in place, uh, but we have very little information from the patient, from the patient point of view, how they, they are living with gout, how they are considering the management of gout uh, we are, uh, we are giving to them. And the objective of this survey is then to gather the, as much data as possible from the patient point of view to uh, improve perhaps the uh, management of the disease. Oh, oops. We designed a, a short online uh, survey distributed in 14 European countries. The only inclusion criteria were to be adult, to be diagnosed gout, and to finish the survey. And the recruitment was done by, via the patient association and the healthcare providers themselves. We designed the survey in participation with those patient representatives and uh, clinical experts, including uh, GPs uh, uh, with evidence. We recruited in a very short time last year more than 1,000 patients. That population was quite representative on a usual gout population, which was composed mainly with uh, middle-aged men, with uh, other comorbidities. We had hypertension, we had diabetes, we have uh, uh, CKD, obesity, dyslipidemia. We see that uh, on average three flares occurred in the year before they uh, began the, the survey and one patient out of two uh, had still a job at that time. First, we have four main uh, results to present, to share with you. The perhaps one important is uh, the, uh, the gout is a very, very really a GP disease. Mainly GPs are uh, diagnosing, monitoring, and treating uh, a gout. And it's perhaps linked with that first reason. The monitoring of gout is rather uh, suboptimal. The diagnosis is late. One-fifth one of the patient m must wait for having four flares be be between before being diagnosed gout. And even though they are diagnosed, they have still flares. Uh, three quarters of them at flares in the year before, uh, uh, before the, the, the survey. The patients don't attend the doctor's office specifically for the gout. I recall that they have m many comorbidities and they consult for them, s s thinking that uh, those comorbidities are perhaps more important than gout. And, uh, the control of uric acid level is too scarce. Regarding the treatment, it's the same. Uh, half of the patients don't receive any urat lowering therapies. They only have painkillers. Third consider consideration, gout, on the patient point of view, is a very debilitating one. The burden of gout is very huge not only for the ability to walk, as we, so we know that flares are also often uh, attacking the, the foot, but also for, for all aspects of life, the sleep, the, uh, the mental health, the mood, the daily activities, and the relation with the others, even sex life. And surprisingly, 10% of the gout patients had to retire or lost their job because of gout, specifically for gout. It's very important. And if we put talk about uh, gout, it's important to talk about pain. Uh, the ancient image of the gout is uh, something painful. And we see that one third of the patients uh, describe their pain as very intense, serious, severe. 
we had in the, design, the, the survey one open question regarding the pain. It was three, three messages from the, the patients. Excruciating pain. It's a knife. It's a, it's a bite on the, the, uh, on the bone. It's very, very painful disease. And all, despite all those burdens, despite the, the, the poor monitoring, managing, management of gout, patients are still satisfied. Even though they have more than five flares, two-thirds of the patients said they are satisfied with the treatment. What is its satisfaction? I think that the patient, when we look at the responses, the patient don't dare to speak to the doctors. Gout is a self-inflicted disease. It's, I am responsible for my gout because of my lifestyle. So I don't speak to my doctor. I don't ask for help. And we see the results. Even though they ask for support, many doctors don't respond to their demand. So patients are uh, rather resignated. It's a resignation be, uh, instead of satisfaction, I think so. As a summary, gout is serious. There are serious consequences, consequences uh, health consequences. There is a debilitating disease. It causes a very uh, poor quality of life. And gout is treatable easily. Well, and it's not, in, not expensive. But the diagnosis is late. Monitoring is, uh, is uh, too, too infrequent, and uh, the uh, management is uh, uh, suboptimal. And patients don't speak about gout. You, you see that it's difficult to have a communication. So doctors are not so aware of the burden of the disease uh, to their patients, and it's why, well, as a conclusion, this finding is very important because it shows that there is a real and met need uh, of gout patients. Is there, there is a clear need to educate both patients and doctors uh, of the, the danger and seriousness of the disease. Uh, there are uh, also a uh, need to, to have strategies to improve the, uh, the communication between uh, patients and doctors, the empowerment of patients, but also, it's why I'm here, to improve the communication between specialists and, uh, and GPs, to put in place some diagnostic tools to, to, to make uh, gout but more sexy uh, for, for any GPs and any doctors. Uh, it's, now that I finished, uh, I would like to acknowledge, to, to thank all those patient associations and they, they succeeded last year in recruiting more than 1,000 patients in less than five months. Very wonderful. Thank you very much. And I have some questions. I'm there.